guys. Down at the base camp today. Gonna do a little bit more work on it. Gonna try to get the floor done. Um, maybe string a carp over the roof. Uh, possibly doing an overnighter tonight. Not sure yet. Um, so I figure I'll bring you guys along. I'll put some hours in on the base camp. Let's go and get started. So it's been raining non-stop for the past couple days. I mean, it's pretty pretty wet out here. The stream's up. I actually had to go downstream to cross because I couldn't cross where I normally would cross. So I'm gonna, if it does rain, there's an overcast. So if it does rain, I'm gonna go ahead and put this tarp over here so I can hunker down under this thing if I need to. So I'm sitting here putting a tarp on my roof. Find this guy right here. Let me give you an idea as to where he's at. He's all the way up on top of the roof. Pretty neat looking fella. Little toad. So I'm gonna go ahead and start collecting valves for across this uh, floor here. I may have to reinforce this one over here. I think it might be too uh, too thin, the branch. But I know this one's gonna hold it, so we'll see. We'll see when we get it done. So I was out hunting for uh, for poles to lay down on my floor. This happened started pouring down rain. Um, it was only like a 40 to 50 percent chance of rain today so I, I took my took my chances. Figured 50-50 shot, why not? So I'm gonna I'm underneath the shelter right now. I'm gonna hunker down here for a little bit. See if this lights up. If it lets up enough I may may still go out and uh, see if I can't find any more poles. I probably need about 10 or 15 more but we'll see, we'll see what happens. On the plus side, while I was out looking, I did find some sassafras roots. I'm gonna cut these up a little bit and steep them, make some tea. You can tell it's sassafras by the smell. You can't mistake it. it smells delicious. So to make my tea, I'm just going to use my cook kit. I hope you guys can hear me over this rain. I mean, it is coming down like crazy back here. So, yeah, I'm just going to use my uh, cook kit to uh, make up some sassafras tea while I wait this rain out. To light the fire, I'm going to be using these fire sticks. I'm not going to even fool with trying to uh, get out here and find some, some stuff to... <laughs> to start a fire. So we're going to use these. And I always, always carry dryer lint with me in my fire kit for situations like this.
sassafras roots. So we're just going to let that boil up, steep, and then uh, enjoy me some tea. Hopefully this dies down and get a little bit more work done before I got to get out of here. Alright, so definitely tell it's sassafras. I'm like trying to not to fog up the lens. It gives you that red color. Reddish color. Kind of like root beer, I guess. A little thinned out root beer. So yeah, it's still it's still pouring down rain. I'm gonna have to readjust my tarp on my shelter too. I'm getting a little wet in here, especially when it downpours. So I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy my uh, tea. And hopefully this dies down so I can get back to work. Man, this stuff is relentless. It is just pouring down out of here. So the knife I'm using today I don't know if you can see that. The knife I'm using today is a, uh, it's a Gerber. Made in the USA. I really like this knife. For a Gerber, for the price, I really like it. Um, it's a, it's, the edge holds up well. I like it because it has the, uh, 90 degree, um, grind on the spine. It hits a fire steel really well. Um, you guys might remember a while back I bought so a while back I bought this this knife right here. It is a it's made by Rowan SOLS laser strike. I'm not really fond of this knife. I've used it numerous times. Um, I thought it might have, it might grow on me. Don't really like it. So what I've decided to do, I'm gonna pass it on to somebody that would actually like to have it. So I'm gonna do a giveaway from this video. Um, if you want this knife, all you have to do is like the video and put down in the comments you're in, you want it, and then. Uh, a week. Well, we'll do. Let's do two weeks. Give it two weeks. Two weeks from now, I'll uh, I'll pick a random winner. Um, I'll cover shipping and everything. So, but yeah, like I said, it. I I I'm not real fond of the knife. I don't like the finger choil, the spine. It's rounded over, so it doesn't really strike a fire steel all that well. It does have the, uh, I guess, the notch and the handle for a bow drill. I tried it, didn't really like it. So, yeah, it comes with a Kydex sheath. So if, any, if you guys, if you guys want this, just like the video and uh, comment down below, and we'll give it away. So it looks like the rain let up. I'm ready to go back out here and do some more work. Still enjoying my uh, my tea. This stuff is really good. It'd be great if I had a little bit of sugar and honey to put in it, or some honey to put in it. But yeah, look at that deep red color. It's beautiful, and it tastes really good too. One of the benefits of being outside in the outdoors. So yeah, we'll hang out a little bit more. And get back out here and do some more work.
All right. Walk in, walk around. So yeah, I got the floor completed today. Very happy with it. Side view. Of course, you already know what the back looks like. The entire time I've been working here, this little guy has been up on my the roof of my shelter. Pretty crazy. So yeah, I'm not gonna record me hiking out of here. I don't wanna mess with the camera, take a chance of dropping it and all this, the ground's really wet and I gotta go across some rocks and stuff. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Again, like I said, I'll be giving away that, uh, that knife here in two weeks from today, from this date, two weeks from today. All you have to do is uh, like the video and comment down below that you're, you, you'd like to have a chance or that you're in. So, yeah, good luck to everybody. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. Don't forget to share the video. All right, take it easy, guys. We'll see you on the next one.